The Number is a game for three to five players, from eight years up and for games of about 15 minutes. In The Number, bluff and take risks to be more daring than your opponents, or more cunning. The player with the highest score after two rounds wins the game. To play, take a player board and a number tile of the same color plus a marker. A round is played as follows. All at the same time, secretly write a three-digit number on your tile. At the beginning of the game, you can use any digit from 0 to 9. Then place your tile face down in the center of the table. When everyone is ready, turn the tiles over and order them from largest to smallest number. Identical numbers are placed side by side. Starting with the biggest number, see if it is validated or eliminated. If my number has at least one digit in common with a smaller number, it is eliminated and my tile is flipped face down. For example, let's look at the number 761. The digit 1 is found in a smaller number, so 761 is eliminated and this table is flipped. But if my number has no digits in common with the smaller numbers, it is validated. For example, let's look at the number 513. None of the digits 5, 1 or 3 are found in the smaller numbers, so 513 is validated. Identical numbers don't eliminate each other out. This means both numbers 444 are validated. The smallest number is always validated. If your number is eliminated, you get no points. Write zero in the first score space on your board. You do not cross out any digits on your board and your turn is over. If your number is validated, complete your board. First, write the first digit of your number in the first score space on your board. This is your score for this turn. But the player with the highest validated number adds the bonus shown above that box to their score. For example, my number 513 is the highest validated number. My score is 5 plus 2 bonus points, so I write 7 in the first score space on my board. Then cross out the digit that make up your number on your board. They are no longer available to you until the end of the round. In my example, I cross out the digits 5, 1 and 3. And I will not be able to use them again until the end of the round. Finally, take your tile back, even if your number is eliminated, and erase it. You are ready to start the second turn. The fifth and final turn is a bit special. If your number is validated in the fifth turn, multiply its first digit by two to get your score and then add the possible bonus. For example, if your number 522 is validated, you score 10 points, five multiplied by two. And if it is the largest number validated, you add eight points to your score and thus get 18 points. After five rounds, the game ends. When the game is over, count how many digits are crossed out on your board and write the result in the corresponding box. Here I crossed out six digits on my board, so I score six points. Then add up the points from all your score spaces to get your total score. Turn your board over and write this total in the score space for round one. Erase the front of your board and proceed to the second round in the same manner. After two rounds, the game ends. Turn your board over, add up your scores from rounds one and two, and write your final score in the last box. The player with the highest final score wins the game. If there is a tie, the players involved share the victory.